California and Texas compared. California and Texas are two states in the United States with some similarities. For example, the two states are huge and were once independent countries before they relinquished their sovereignty and got admitted into the Union. However, when you have California and Texas compared objectively, you will discover that they've got a lot of differences. We realize that this might be of interest to many of you, especially in view of the friendly rivalry that exists between the two, as the comparison goes beyond that. In this California versus Texas video, we will attempt to compare the two states on different bases. This will show all of us that the difference is clear and the similarities are breathtaking. Location the state of California is in the western U.S., bordering the state of Oregon to the north, the states of Nevada and Arizona to the east, and the Mexican state of Baja California to the south. To its west is a coastline along the Pacific Ocean, whereas the state of Texas is in the south-central region of the U.S. It shares borders with Louisiana to the east, the states of Arkansas and Oklahoma to the northeast and north respectively, the state of New Mexico to the west, and Chihuahua, Cohila, Nuevo Leon, and Tamaulipas, Mexican states to the south and southwest. To its southeast is a coastline with the Gulf of Mexico. Thus, while California is a western state, Texas is a south central state. Population and Size with a 2020 population of 39,538,223, California is the most populous state in the U.S., while Texas's population at that same time was 29,145,505, the second most populous state. What about the size? The state of California occupies a total area of 163,695 square miles, making it the third largest U.S. state by area. Meanwhile, Texas has an area as big as 268,597 square miles, second to the state of Alaska and ahead of California. So while California has the larger population, Texas has the bigger land area. While the population density in California is 251.3 residents per square mile, it's 114 per square mile in Texas. Nonetheless, the two states have an interesting similarity here. At least, they're among the largest and the most populous states in the U.S. and are larger and more populous than about half of the countries in the world. Capital and Largest Cities here is where we have another striking similarity. It'll interest you to learn that the capital cities of both of them are not their largest cities. Did you say that's not uncommon? Yes, we agree, but it's noteworthy when you consider states like Arizona, Arkansas, Hawaii, and Idaho, whose capitals Phoenix, Little Rock, Honolulu, and Boise respectively are their largest cities. Now, to our deal, the capital of California is Sacramento, while the capital of the state of Texas is Austin. Sacramento covers an area of 99 square miles, while Austin occupies an area of over 305 square miles. Thus, the capital of Texas is larger than that of California. The largest city in the state of California is Los Angeles, but in Texas, Houston is the largest city, and the capital city of Austin is the fourth largest. Alias California is known as the Golden State. One of the reasons for this is that gold is one of California's official colors. It got this nickname in 1968 because of its reputation for gold deposits since the 16th century. This is also linked to the abundance of golden poppies in the state. Meanwhile, Texas is called the Lone Star State as a sign of tribute to the Lone Star flag adopted after 1836 when Texas gained independence from Mexico. The People the residents and citizens of California are called Californians, while those of Texas are called Texans. The original inhabitants of the state of California are California Indians. Now, they constitute a small percentage of the population, though they're bouncing back as now a rapidly growing percentage of Californians. The subjugation and forceful conversion by the Spanish missionaries as part of the construction of the California mission chain played some role in this. This could provide an explanation for Spanish surnames so common among Californians. This could also be a result of the 20th century mass immigration from Mexico. 
As time went by, Los Angeles became the home to the Japanese community in the U.S., while San Francisco has a town known as Chinatown, which became the country's largest Chinese settlement. Now, about half of the Mexican Americans in the country are Californians. The population of Texas, similarly, is ethnically diverse, and this has long been so. There were mass migrations from everywhere into Texas throughout the 19th century. Today, nearly two-fifths of residents of Texas are of Hispanic descent. Many communities along the country's southwestern border are almost wholly Hispanic. Larger cities such as Brownsville, Corpus Christi, El Paso, Laredo, and San Antonio bear in their architecture and place names the mark of Spain and Mexico. Dates of Admission while California was admitted into the Union on September 9, 1850, as the 31st member, Texas became a part of this big union on December 29, 1845, after only 27 states. California, formerly a part of Mexico, fought hard to gain its independence. After 10 years as an independent country, the state joined the United States of America. Texas was formerly known as the Republic of Texas, a sovereign state that existed from March 2, 1836 in North America, refusing to be annexed by Mexico. Time Zone The Californian time zone is UTC 0800, PST or PT. This translates to 8 hours minus the universal coordinated time on the Pacific time zone. It's UTZ minus 0700, that is, Summer Daylight Saving Time, DST. But Texas is one of the states with multiple time zones. In the majority of the state, the time zone is UTC-0600 Central, and in summer, DST, it is UTC-0500 CDT. In El Paso, in the counties of Hoodspeth and Northwestern Culberson, however, the time zone is UTC-0700 Mountain, and in summer, DST, it is UTC-0600 MDT. Government While California is currently a democratic state ruled by Gavin Christopher Newsom and his lieutenant Eleni Kunalakis, Texas is a Republican state led by Greg Wayne Abbott and assisted by Dan Gilpatrick. California has 53 representatives in the U.S. House of Representatives, 42 Democrats and 11 Republicans. Texas has 36 members, 24 Republicans and 12 Democrats. Economy when California and Texas are compared in the aspect of the economy, you'd have an interesting find. First, the economy of the state of California is the largest of any state in the U.S. It's even larger than many countries and is among the largest in the world. Only a handful of countries can boast larger economies than California's. While Texas also has a very huge economy, it is second to that of California. As of the last check, the gross state product GSP of California was $3.3 trillion, the largest in the U.S. This is one-seventh of the nation's GDP. About the same time, Texas has a GSP of $2.0 trillion, as the second highest in the U.S. Though smaller than California's, it has a GSP greater than the GDPs of Brazil, Canada, Russia, South Korea, and Spain. The economy of California is larger than Africa and Australia combined and is about the same size as South America. Californian financiers have been imaginatively seeking and employing capital. In fact, many of the largest banks and corporations in the U.S. are based in the Lone Star State. As far back as 1965, the state has supplanted New York as the highest exporter of manufactured goods. And when Silicon Valley was developed in the late 1970s, California assumed the role of a world leader in computers and electronics manufacturing. Towards the end of the 20th century, this economy had been attracting highly educated and skilled workers from all over the world. Even now, it's still the dominant state in the film and television industry and in agriculture, especially viticulture. Although agriculture doesn't contribute up to one-tenth of the state's income, the state is the producer of more than half of the vegetables and fruits the country consumes. Let's see tax in the same light. The state earned a lot from cotton, cattle, and petroleum, which are all based on land resources at different stages in the state's economic development. Since around the mid-20th century, these products have continued to undergird the basic wealth of the state. 
Other industries such as banking and insurance, construction, and retailing and wholesaling have reflected the general affluence, diversification, and urbanization of the state's economy. Nevertheless, the economy is still heavily dependent on oil and gas. It should be noted, though, that no state in the U.S. has as many farms as Texas, which is the national leader in cotton production. We are sure you, too, can have some areas where you can do California versus Texas comparisons. Please let's have your views in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell.